Well, hello again. And in this video, we are going to do something totally different to the, what we've done before. Something that's really popular on the internet, and that's an unboxing video. Because as Chorley Photographic Society, our, our little camera club, has, uh, has just bought itself a new projector. Our members have been asking for one for a little while. Um, our older one's been getting a little bit dodgy, and they've been saying they need a new projector. So we've been out and bought one, and we're going to unbox it right now. So the first thing we need to do is probably get rid of that chair, because I'm... I'm going to stand up for some of this, and um, oh, here it is. It's a big box, and uh, yeah, first thing we're going to do is slit the sides. We see this done all the time on the internet. It's quite a popular thing to do, but it's not something that photographers normally get involved with. Just make sure I don't slice the top off it as I go in there. First look, inside we go. Now this is quite a quite a good uh, a good projector actually to be fair. There's a box there. It's got things in it. We'll not come back to it later. Oh my word! It's a big fella. Whoa! Look at that. What have we got in the box? We have got a UK power supply. Handy, handy which means it's not coming from overseas and we haven't paid a cheap amount of money for a, a foreign one that's got a European or American power supply on it. Let's pull that off there. Let's just undo these little... They've wrapped it well, haven't they, eh? Let's just get in there. So this is, be super careful now, you get all the plastic, let's get that out from around there. It's a big fella, it's a big fella, there we go. So there we are, this is a um, Canon WUX6500. Looking on my screen here, it is 1920 by 1200 resolution, which is uh, obviously higher than uh, HD. Um, it's got 6500 lumens, so it's a very bright projector and has a contrast ratio of, oh, I can't remember what it is now. Where are we? 2000 to 1. Um, so this is what we'll be using at the club from, uh, from here on in. There is another box with it, oh, which is down here, which is a, a smaller box. The one thing that, um, that this doesn't come with is, uh, is a lens. There is actually, you can probably see it there. There's a big hole in there where the lens needs to go. So uh, in this box here, we should have, if I'm lucky, a lens. There we go. There's our lens. Move that to one side. There's our little lens. That goes in there somehow. I'm not going to do that now. We'll uh, we'll worry about that um, in in a little while. But um, that's our that's our new uh, our new projector. We will start using it from our uh, next club evening, which is uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, we got prints this week, so it'll be it'll be a couple of weeks before we use this now. The other thing I will want to say, this is particularly to our members, the quality of this is going to be good. I mean, our old one was pretty good to be fair. This is going to be good as well. However, there are a few things that people need to remember to do so that they get the optimum performance out of this projector or any projector. First of all, you need to make sure that your images are saved with sRGB color profiling, not Adobe, not Profoto or anything else, it's got to be sRGB, um, which is pretty much the standard these days. Most, most use that as a default, but you've got to make sure because if you use any other color profile, when we project it, it may look different um, because we will set it up for sRGB. The other thing as well is we will cal calibrate this, this projector. We will go through the process of putting it together, linking it to the laptop it's going to work from. We'll do a full color profiling with um, 
with a colour monkey or an X-Rite or, or something like that so, um, so that we know that the, the, the image colours that are in the image are the same as displayed on the screen and the same as displayed on the projected image so that we can get absolute consistency and as near perfect replication as we can every single time. What that means for our members is if you want to match that, you need to profile your computer. So you need to profile your computer using a standard profiling tool like a color eye or something like that so that you know that when your file comes to us, we're all using the same system, the same standard, and, um, and, and uh, it'll look absolutely perfect on our screen. We will look at that in another video. We will talk about through some of those things in another video, how to do sRGB um, uh, files and how to uh, do color profiling. Until then, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm sure our members will be happy to see this down at the club in, uh, in a few weeks time. Until then, I'm going to put it back in the box and uh, we'll get it out in an, another day or so and, uh, and get it all profiled. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.